and welcome back to my channel. First things first, before I even get into what today's video is, I just wanted to say thank you guys so, so much for 400,000 subscribers. My channel literally wouldn't be what it is today without you guys, so just thank you so much. Just wanted to say that. And uh, today's video is going to be a music with Megan, just because I've been getting requested to do this so much. He's bringing his friend up on the bed to keep him company. I've been doing this series since probably like 2013, so you know, why not make another playlist? This is playlist number 10, or music with Megan number 10, that is. So this is great. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. I'm in kind of like a loungy, slouchy outfit today. No makeup, glasses on. I got my bangs cut again. I don't even know why I'm telling you guys this, but basically I'm just hanging out right now and I hope you guys will hang out with me. And we are going to talk about the year of music that is 2016 because holy shit, there has just been so many excessively good albums this year. So basically I made a playlist of some of my favorite albums of 2016 and I'm going to share it with you today. The playlist is already on my Spotify. It's going to be in the first link in the description. I've actually had this playlist kind of going for a while now once I realized that 2016 was literally the best year of music of my life. It's giving me like 2013 vibes because that's when um, Acid Rap came out, which was another great album. And then we get another album this year from Chance. Holy shit, guys, let's just get into it. All right, let's tackle the beast. That is this playlist because there is literally like 98 songs on it. So almost 100 tunes for your ears. You know, I hope you enjoy it. I'm actually gonna discuss this playlist album by album and then just give you favorites from each of the albums. But like I said, the whole playlist itself is 98 songs. So it would just be very long if I like went through all 98 with you guys, you know? So the first album that made my 2016 personally was an album from Nako and Medicine for the People called Hoka and I have it on vinyl as well. It's heavily instrumental. Like there's a lot of people in the band and you can really hear that on the album. And you really can just hear all of the influences from Nako's heritage who's like the lead singer of the band, Nako Bear. It's a very spiritual album. It's a very insightful album. I always just tweet the lyrics all the time because there's so many good things to say about the album and so many good lyrics in all of the songs. So I'm gonna narrow it down to about three top favorites that I have from this album, but it's gonna be a bit hard. But I would say definitely Great Spirit is on there. I heard this song, which almost sounds like a prayer, honestly, when you listen to it, um, at one of his shows. And I just remember it being such a great song. And I literally heard that from him in 2015 in concert. And then it came out on the album in 2016 and I was like, yes, I remember hearing that. I don't know what that was, but anywho, my next favorite is Love Letters to God. Me and Lindsay have really agreed that we think that this is our song of the summer and like our favorite and most played song of the summer. And I would agree with that. Would you agree with that, Larry? And the next song is called Your Feet, but in Spanish. So it's Tus Pies, I believe is how you pronounce it. But all of the songs sound very romantic and just very raw. So that's why I love this album. And it's definitely one of my favorite albums of 2016. Moving on, we have a kind of indie folk band I would describe them as. I don't really freaking know at all. But the Lumineers is the band and I've known about these guys for quite some time now. And they had this really big song back in the day called Ho Hey. And it wasn't even back in the day. It was just like when I was in high school. And basically after I heard that hit song and I got super into them, I started just listening excessively to their first album, which I believe was just self-titled, just called The Lumineers. And then they didn't release music for like a really long time. And then when their newest album came out in 2016, of course I listened to it. And I I literally fell in love with this album. I'm not kidding when I say that some of the songs make me cry. I'm actually seeing them live for the first time at Life is Beautiful in Vegas at the end of September. So, well, it's September now, so I guess at the end of this month. But yeah, I'm freaking stoked. If I had to pick some favorites from this album, I would definitely say Cleopatra, but there's a acoustic version of it on the deluxe album that's just freaking bomb. I also really love Gun Song and Long Way From Home. Moving on, let's talk about Chance the Rapper's album that came out this year, Coloring Book, because holy shit, I had been waiting since fucking acid rap to hear another album from him. I mean, he had obviously released kind of random stuff in between and was featured on a lot of stuff and he didn't like disappear like Frank Ocean did. I was definitely satisfied with random Chance music throughout, you know, the time that he wasn't releasing this album. But when it finally came out, I was like, this is the greatest thing that has happened all year. But that's really how I feel about all of these albums. Like them collectively is the greatest thing that has happened to my year. I just love music. I'm obsessed with it. And like I said at the beginning of this video, this year has just been the year of music. Just impeccable. So that's exactly what this album was. It was impeccable. I freaking love Chance the Rapper. I actually found out about his music in about 2013 when I went to a Mac Miller show and Chance opened up for him. It was on like the Space Migration Tour and it was so good and I just fell in love with him at that performance. And then after I went and I got 10 Day and I got Acid Rap and I was just like, fuck yes, this guy is so good. And I wouldn't say that this is Chance's best album, personally. I like acid rap a bit more, but I did get heavy into this album this summer. More so when I was home, because I believe that it came out kind of at the beginning of the summer, so like in May or something. And that's when 
I was back in Georgia, so I was just like running this album ragged. My number one favorite song on this album is probably Blessings, but the reprise version with Ty Dolla Sign. So good. There's so many like quotable lyrics that Chance says in that song. I also love Smoke Break. He got Future on that song and it was so good. And Same Drugs is also a very pretty song as well. Moving on to this next album. It's from Kilo Quiche. It's called Reflections in Real Time. I don't even know how I originally found out about Kilo Quiche, but I think it's because she was featured on a lot of old like Childish Gambino songs. And then I got heavy into her music and then she released this album this year that made me get into her a lot more because I realized how talented she is and how different she is. This album Reflections in Real Time musically sounds like you're watching a movie, if that makes sense. Like it literally sounds like the soundtrack to a movie or you're watching something when you listen to it through because there's so many like little voice segments that come into it and kind of tell a story. And she talks through a lot of the songs or just intros them talking because there's also a lot of singing involved as well. You know, it's just great. It's a great album. It has like 20 songs on it. So if I were to pick like three of them, I would say my favorites are Obsessing, Collected Views from Dinner, which is literally like a funny conversation and it's just so freaking great. And I also love Distractions 1, The Opposite Sex. I say Distractions 1 because there's also a Distractions 2 song on here called The Dilemma of Cool. Oh my gosh, I have the worst posture ever. Like I'm just like hunching over just looking at my phone like, who is Snapchatting me? Don't they know I'm filming a video? But this next album that I want to talk about is Freetown Sound by Blood Orange, AKA Dev Hines. And holy shit, I saw him perform some of the songs off of this album live at um, FYF Fest like two weekends ago, I want to say. And he is so good live. Oh my God, he just caught the crowd dancing and we were all just like flailing our bodies around and just like skipping around. And I didn't think he would do this, but he brought out so many of the people that are featured on this album because there's a lot of other sounds other than his voice, you know? And so it's always interesting interesting when you go see those artists who have like a lot of features on their album but they don't bring out anyone and that's always just frustrating but he did not do that he had a great set and I just loved every second of it and I love every single song on this album honestly when I listen to this album it sounds like it's heavily influenced by the Black Lives Matter movement which I love because sonically when you're listening to something like that and you know that it has a huge meaning and message behind it you're just like yes I love this shit it is so good and I just want to tell everybody about this album and play this album for everybody because it has so many also on audio clips in it that kind of teach lessons. Kind of like the same thing that I said about Nako's album being very insightful. This album is also very insightful, but also just so musically great. And you're like, wow, I love when artists combine the two, you know? But my number one favorite song on this album is By Ourselves, because there is this part of the song where it breaks into this poem about feminism and kind of female empowerment and also the empowerment of black women specifically. It's spoken by Ashley Hayes, but there's this part of the poem that I actually tweeted that I just want to read to you. And it says, feminism says as a woman woman in my arena, you are not my competition. As a woman in my arena, your light doesn't make mine any dimmer. And that part of that poem really just not only hit home for me and made me feel just very great as a woman and as a feminist myself, but it also made me want to make an entire video on feminism and female empowerment. But just let me know if you would want to see something like that, kind of just on female empowerment and what it means to be a woman and a goddess in this world, you know? All right, let's move on from my speech that I just had mid video, but um, my other two favorite songs from this album are definitely best to you and probably also Augustine because I got really put on to Blood Orange after I saw the Augustine video. So I know I'm really late to the game on Dev Hines and how great he is and how great Blood Orange is in general. But yeah, it's definitely one of the greatest albums of this year in my opinion. And now we are getting onto the last album which is by River Tibber and it's called Indigo. And I saw one of my friends tweet about this album calling it one of their favorite albums of 2016. So I was like, obviously I have to listen to this and see if I can add it to my playlist of the best songs. 2016. First off, the name drew me in, Indigo. Great album name. Also, the artist's name is so unique. River Tibber, you know? It really just flows off the tongue. But yeah, this album is bomb. You guys should definitely go and check it out because I don't think I've ever heard of River Tibber before I've heard this album. But if you need some first songs to listen to, I would recommend Acid Test as well as Barcelona and I Am A Stone. I Am A Stone, I was just bumping in the shower and I was like, fuck, I love this. All right, these videos are always pretty hefty and pretty long, so I hope you guys enjoyed just listening to me talk about music for a little bit. Also, before I go, I just wanted to drop a little um, spice on your night and just let you know that if you like Gucci Mane and you like Outkast and you're waiting for Outkast new music together, I think that via Complex News, I heard that they are rumored to be, you know, making something. That would be something in the works and something really great for my Atlanta heart. Like I said, I heard this from Complex News, so if this doesn't actually happen, don't blame me. Blame Complex News. But like I said before, I'm just literally obsessed with music and this would honestly make my year if Gucci Mane 
Brandon and Outkast made anything together, holy fuck. I would just be happy to hear anything from Outkast this year, am I right? All right, on that note, I think I'm gonna end off this video and I hope that I got you a little bit hype on new music that you maybe haven't heard. Or maybe you've already heard a lot of this music and you're like, wow, Megan, we have so much in common. If you have any personal favorite albums or songs that have been released this year that I think I should know about, you should comment them down below because this was obviously just like a small portion of music that has been released this year. But it's just my personal favorites, my dearest favorites that have come out this year. But yeah, you can go and check out the playlist on Spotify if you would like to listen to it. I'll link that down below. And you can follow me on there and check out all of the music that I'm listening to as well. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not already. I make videos like this and on other topics every Wednesday and I would just love to have you as part of the fam. To 500k we go, you know? All right, thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Have a great day or night whenever you're watching this and I will just see you in my next one. Okay, stay smiling. Bye.